I love Christmas time. Me too. The decorations are so pretty. Yes, especially our Christmas tree. Huh? But we don't have a Christmas tree, Uncle. Shush, Zays. Don't talk back to your uncle. But we never got a tree. Of course we did. Oh my gosh, we forgot to get a Christmas tree. We have to have a Christmas tree. Come on, Zays. You and I will get one. Okay. Don't cry. Santa Claus will bring your present. All of the snacks keep disappearing from our shelves. I know you're the one taking them. But I'm not. Don't lie to me. You're the only other person here. Who else could have taken them? Nom, nom, nom. I didn't take them. That's it. You're fired. Get out of my store. But I'm your only employee. Doesn't matter. <laughs> huh? <laughs> People get so emotional around Christmas. It really is a magical time of year. Huh? Excuse me. We would like to buy a Christmas tree. <laughs> a Christmas tree? Those sold out weeks ago. That can't be true. We have to have a Christmas tree. Well, I do have one left. Nobody wanted this one. Look how ugly it is. <laughs> huh? If you want, you can have this crap for free. You'd be helping me out by taking it out of my store. Huh? I don't want this. It looks terrible. It's not so bad, Mother. It's the ugliest tree I've ever seen. <laughs> huh? We don't have another choice. We have to get a Christmas tree. And I know this one will be perfect. Fine. We'll take it. I think it's a nice tree. <laughs> yeah, boy. We got a beautiful Christmas tree. This tree is terrible. It looks like garbage. It makes me want to throw up. I told you, but there was no other option. Our Christmas is ruined now thanks to this dumb tree. I still think it's okay. That's because you're not a Christmas tree expert like me. Now let's go have some Christmas burgers. She's not that bad after all. <laughs> They think I'm ugly? I'll show them who's ugly. I'll have my revenge. I'm going to the bathroom and I'll be right back. Don't touch my donuts. Free hamburgers. All right. I knew this tree was great from the moment I saw it. Where are the burgers? I don't see anything. Did you hear that laugh? There's something fun going on in this house. I'm gonna have a look. Oh my gosh! What happened? Is he okay? Did he die from funny? Wow! Free crockpots? All mothers love crockpots. Where can I find my crock- <coughs> Humans are so easily fooled by signs. My plan is working out perfectly. Now for my next victim. Zaze! Yes. I have the tree in my sights. It appears to be highly intelligent. It's using signs to fool the residents. Copy that. I will capture the tree tonight. You're watching Botany Life, the television channel for plants. And now, back to our show. An act of true love will thaw frozen bark. Love will thaw, of course. You're doing it, Tree Elsa. Is that the TV? I thought no one was home. I'm going to check it out. Triana, but she froze your bark. The only frozen bark around here is yours. Whoa, <laughs> I never get tired of re-watching this episode. Huh? You're alive, but you're a tree. That's what they all say, but I showed them. Wait a second. Did you do something to my mother and uncle? I haven't seen them in a really long time. They said I was ugly, so I got my revenge. And now you're next. You have nowhere left to go. Please don't kill me. I've already taken care of your family. Now it's your turn. Wait. Before you kill me, I have one last request. What's that? I want some Doritos. Huh? Doritos? <laughs> nom, nom, nom. I love Doritos. Can I have some? Sure. Nom, nom, nom. You know what? If you let me live, then I could get more snacks for you. Huh? You could? Definitely. It's a deal. Great. Why were you trying to kill me anyway? It's a long story. Okay, then never mind. It all started back when I was a baby tree. Great. Now I bet there's going to be a flashback. I never knew my parents. They left me there when I was still a seedling. 
I grew up in a nursery. My only friend was my teddy bear. When I grew older, I had to find a job. So what skills do you have? Well, I can't read or write, but I know a lot about plants. That's great. You're perfect for the gardener position. You can start by mowing the lawn. Being forced to hurt other plants was very traumatic for me, but I had no other choice. I cried every day as I cut my grass friends. You're doing great. You're going to make it in this world. You'll see. The only good thing about that job was my boss. He was very kind to me, and I fell in love with him. Do you have any advice for a tree that's in love with a human? All you have to do is give him red flowers and chocolates and get your leaves done. It never fails. I'll do it. Well, that will be $1,000. Huh? $1,000 for a haircut? Number $5 was for taking care of your leaves. The other $955 was for the love advice. Okay, that seems fair. I gathered all my courage and decided to confess my love to him. I need to confess something to you. I love you. Will you marry me? Why would I ever love a talking tree? You're a freak of nature. You're fired. But first, give me those chocolates. That's terrible. It was terrible. I was completely depressed. Then what happened next was even worse. What are you doing here, tree? Haven't you read that sign? We don't serve plants in this bar. I called the police. What? Why? Talking trees are not from God. You deserve to be locked up. I can't believe they arrested you. Yes, that was the last straw for me. It was then that I decided to have my revenge on the humans that hurt me. I started preparing. I worked out every day and got buff. I also taught myself to read and write. Then I was ready to execute my plan to escape. A good police officer always follows the rules. Guess I should open the door. I armed myself for the war to come. Hey, what are you doing? Let me go, or I'll make sure you never get Christmas presents again. Christmas presents are way more important than following rules. I made my getaway in style, even trees like a bit of glamour. Then I got really hungry, and I hid in that supermarket. They had free snacks. That's when you found me. It's a touching story, isn't it? You can never count on a human to listen to your tragic backstory. Oh well, back to my show. I am Bush in Roots. <laughs> My name is Tree. Oak Tree. Huh? Is this what young people are watching on TV these days? Who are you? What's going on here? Nothing. Go back to sleep. We will have to perform many different experiments. First, we will make the tree dance. Then we will test its ability to drive. After that, we will remove its brain. Yes, all for science. Good morning, my tree friend. She wrote a letter to me. I think we're going to be best friends. Your tree has been taken by the government so that experiments can be performed on it. Have a nice day. I have to do something, but I'll need help. So we have to rescue her. Nah, I don't really want to. I'll give you snacks. I'm in. If the government has the tree, then they will have taken her to the hospital. I'll disguise myself as a nurse, and you can be my patient. You need to pretend that you injured yourself. No problem. I'm a great actor. Good. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just let me eat the last snack. Okay. Ooh, yummy, yummy. Okay, let's rehearse. What are you going to say? Help me, I dropped a cookie on my foot. Huh? That's terrible. How would that hurt you? It was a really big cookie. You're really bad at this. This will never work. Well, what do you want to do then? I just had a great idea. <laughs> now that's more convincing. <laughs> Doctors, this patient is seriously injured. You have to help him. Oh no. What's wrong, boy? My cousin hit me with an axe. Huh? Why does this always happen in Brookhaven? <laughs> I need to save this child. Come with me. It's your chance to escape. Huh? 
Thanks for rescuing me. Of course. I couldn't let them take out your brain. I'm really hungry, though. Can I have my snacks now? Huh? Well, I'm sure you're not hungry now after that terrifying experience. Nonsense. I'm always hungry. Are you sure you want to eat snacks? How about a nice salad instead? I'm not going to eat my brothers. Give me the snacks that you promised. Well, my cousin and I ate all of the snacks that I had. What? But you promised. We just got hungry, but I can get you more snacks. No, you lied to me. All humans are the same. You're all liars. Now you must be killed. Wait, please. <laughs> it was just a bad dream. Thank goodness. Ha, huh, I guess it was silly to think that a Christmas tree was killing people. Time to take a selfie with my Christmas tree. A selfie? Now I'm ready.